everybody welcome aboard Captain Mike here welcome to my flight deck today we find ourselves in uh, Cancun and we're going to be heading on over to Havana the aircraft's cold and dark I've got my load data sheet and we're all set and ready to go for those of you that have been following along with my videos you'll notice that there's some new data back there I've made some changes um, I've also added the electronic flight bag into the mix so you should be able to see everything that I'm doing as far as going into the electronic flight bag, putting in the weight and balance, and setting up the, uh, the flight management computer via the CDU. So with that said, how about we get started? And let's bring up Air Manager. So let's ground services. I run just like this because um, when I run through my flow and checklist I set the parking brake and there's a timer on there where it disconnects the uh, ground power so if I set up my uh, my ground power this way as well as the ACU one I don't forget to disconnect them and two I don't have the issue with the uh, uh, ground power so that's set let's get the doors opened up here and the chocks are already set, so let's get this flight started. Now, the first thing I want to do is take a look at how fuel. Block fuel is 133.07. Payload is 21.6. Right. 21.6 and 133.07. So our fuel is 133.07. Total payload is 21.6. Okay. That's done. Let's go back into our little data sheet here. And let's get started with the aircraft now. For those of you that uh, may want to follow along or have your own 737 at your run. I created this flow uh, checklist some time ago for new individuals or when I've been out of the deck for a while and I get rusty. Um, or now, I'm just going to run through this. Um, a link for it is down below if you want to download it and follow along. So the first thing on the uh, originator flight is the dispatch load sheet, which we have right here. Next up is a DC voltmeter selected to bat. DC battery switch on guarded. Standby power switch auto guarded. Alternate flaps off guarded. Fuel pump selectors are off. Wipers are set to park. Hydraulic pumps electric two and one are off. Landing gear is down. We've got three green and we've got three green on the aft overhead. Weather radar to test. Fire warning. Master caution reset. Fault in up. And overheat fire. Ground power or APU connect. So if we take a look at the ground services see that we're already set up and we have ground power available so we're going to come on ground power we're going to confirm that we've got ground power coming into the aircraft and then we're going to set up for unconditioned air which I believe we are already the left and right packs are set to auto isolation valve is set open engine bleeds are on and APU bleed is off and we're coming back to the electrical panel and my galley power is coming on 
IRS select is to nav. Emergency exit lights are off. Air conditioning panel. Temperature back is pretty comfortable. And we'll just recycle that trim air switch and make sure that it's matched up with the Zebo mod. CDU at the present position. And we are in Cancun, which is MMUN. And you can see we get the coordinates that are in the database. Now we're going to go see what the uh, GPS is picking up. We'll put that in and we'll check the two. Confirm that there are no erroneous or crazy numbers in here. So, we're good. Up next is flaps. Flaps are up, up. And the aft overhead shows that they are up. Parking brake is set. And the parking brake is set. And as you can see, it disconnected the uh, jocks. And exterior lights. It's daytime, so we're just going to put on the position lights. And that takes care of the originator flight. Now we're going to continue on with our pre-flight. Leading edge devices. Our service interphone is off. Our engine reverses are extinguished. EEC switches are unguarded. Crew oxygen is 14,000. Passenger oxygen is normal guarded. Our flight recorder. Mark 1. Mark 2. Stall warning. We have three green on the landing gear, and our PSEU is extinguished. I'm going to check our oxygen flow. And we're going to check our lights. Now your lights back here may not be blinking. I don't have control over uh, uh, that. So this is run by uh, Lewis Scripps, so it's going to be a little different. Okay, lights test is good. So that brings us to the forward overhead. Flight controls A and B are on guard. It alternate flaps are off guard. It spoilers A and B are on guard. Your damper is on. VHF nav is normal. IRS is normal. FMC is normal. Source selector is auto. And control panel is set to normal. Fuel temperature is fine. Cross feed check. Fuel pumps are off, electrical panel is fine, equipment cooling is set to normal, emergency exit lights are on, no smoke and seatbelt signs are on. Window heat power test. Window heat on and overheat test will let that run. Probe heat switches are off. TAT test, I believe. Temp probe should extinguish. But I don't think it's modeled in the Zebo mod. That indicator light temp probe should go out. Wing and engine anti-ice is off. Electric 1 and 2 on our hydraulic pumps are off. Entry and forward air cargo door. Okay, cockpit voice recorder. Test, test, test. And we're going to check our pressurization panel. Make sure we're not getting any erroneous numbers. We're sitting at the gate with the door open, so that's fine. Air conditioning is fine. We don't have a bag of an aircraft. Okay, our pressurization panel. Going to clear out the master caution and we're going to do overheat test. So we should get the air conditioning and we get master caution warning and we get the wing body overheat. Okay, recirc fans are set to auto packs. Left and right is set to auto. Isolation valve is open. APU bleeds is off and engine bleeds are on. Okay, up next, uh, 
Our flight today is flight level 370. And landing altitude is set. Alternate manual. And back to auto. Okay, lights. Lights are good. And first flight of the day, we're going to the right igniter. And that should bring us up to ATIS clearance and then program the flight management computer. So let's tune in ATIS. And we're looking at 127.7. Alright, Bravo, we see Charlie Cross, 13 left, we'll get away to the Pentagon. And International Information Oscar. 1200 Zulu weather. Wind 120 at 7, visibility 7. Sky conditions 1500 broken, 34,000 view, temperature 31, 2.25. Altimeter 3000. Arriving runway 12 right. Departing runway 12 left. Advise on initial contact you have Oscar. Oscar. American 105 Cafe ahead, cross 13 left at Whiskey and 1239, good day. Cafe, cross Okay, if we were flying on that sim, it would file a, a flight plan and we go to clearance and get that, but since we're not flying online, we're going to go right to program the uh, flight management computer. So, let's bring up the other sheet. Let's get started. Okay, we're in Cancun, MMUN, and we're going to MUHA. And Delta 1172, uh, just out of the top there, I guess we're in a second. I already have the flight plan in here saved, so we're gonna grab that. Now we know we got 12 left on departure, and we've got Duke and I believe. Ground left, 326, how do you want us to get over to terminal stuff? Okay, I've reached out to you before, what gate number do you have? Gate all right, you can, uh, is eight, eight open? Yes, sir. All right, go down to Whiskey, join Alpha Dray. Whiskey Alpha Park, good night, last three questions. Triple 25, zero, three, one assigned to phone, 3, 2, 1, 2, 5, 7. Keyway to the Arnold Six. Join Echo, Echo, Alpha, and cross from A309. Six. Six, right now. Echo, Echo, Alpha, cross one right. Yeah. Bestie. Let's have a look. 2325 <laughs> Okay, we copied all that, it's going to be the A321 JetBlue, I see him, and we'll follow him, 239, and uh, 23. Take a look here. Basically, we're going to take off runway 12, come out 125 degrees, then we're going to swing that turn here, and head on out to Duke. Which is 526. If we take a look at here, uh, 506. I mean. So we're going to come out and head on this way. All right. So that looks good. And. Uh, Okay. You can continue Alpha to Kilo Echo when assigned to Fort Street C is 125.7, South on 123.9. Doogie, and Doogie. Echo, yep, that's where we're going next. Delta 44 Heavy, give way to UPS and back up, to the left to uh, Bravo, sort of with you. And if we take a look on the back end, Bravo, sort of with you, Delta 44 Heavy. Uh, M-U-H-A. 
take a look at our arrival. Getting smaller and smaller. There's the one I want right here. As you can see, looking at our CDU, Calno, Vesti. And you see we're picking up Calno here, coming into Vesti. So, 407 and so on. So that is looking very good. Right into runway 6. Unless something changes along the way. And here's our hold. So that is looking just fine. That's MMU and ground, runway 22 right, taxi right off to the Victor behind Delta from the left. Right off, uh, short of Victor behind Delta from the left. Yeah, it's it's And uh, Delta 2670 ground, runway 31 left, you are going to section back the uh, left on to Bravo. So our route is good. And Delta 2670 remain in three of you. Now our zero fuel weight is 116.6. If we take a look at our final reserve, our final reserve is 2.2. Our cost index is 30. And our flight level we said was 370. for your Okay, now we want to find our top of climb. Here we have it here. We're looking for our winds, which is 084 and 42. 084. And 4-2. And our ISA deviation right is right here. Uh, it's plus 08. Right the ISA deviation. Okay. Now I already did this in Top Cat, and that's going to be 32. Uh, see? I don't know if I like that. One, two, five, point seven. You know what? We're not going to derate. I don't like that. We'll leave it just the way it is. All right, we're going to come back into... Yeah, Our CG is 19.9. It's going to be a flaps five takeoff. Okay, and we'll go to page two. One-way slope and heading. Now, I do not believe there is one. I know, did I write it down? 0, 0.0, it's, there's nothing. But we could put in, I believe we could put in, let's see. 0, 0.0 at 0, 0.058. I believe that'll take that. Yeah. And we want to take a look at our runway winds. We'll come back to our sheet. Electro monitor tower one two three point nine. Electro monitor tower one two three point nine. Twenty six seventy departure to one two five point seven. And we're looking at zero eight zero and eight. Our seven six hotel whiskey Charlie Echo cross runway one three left monitor tower one two three point nine. Whiskey Charlie Echo cross runway one three left. Let's go to our. Send page, we'll do a forecast. Since we're down here on the sheet, here's a decent forecast right here. So we're, we're at, what, 370? <coughs> we can use any of these. We'll put in 310. We'll put in uh, 20,000. And we'll put in 10,000 as well. So at 310, it's 076. Oops. 
seven six at right. two seven. One outbound. Twenty thousand zero seven four. And seventeen. Griffith, two twenty two on Wednesday. Give away to seven three. Turn right alpha. Hold short of Whiskey. New departure. Twenty two one seven. Right alpha. Seven. Into that. Now, ice of deviation and QNH. So, since we're down here already, QNH at Havana. Is 10.18, which is 30.06. So 30.06, and we're going to take the average ISA, which is plus 12. So it's 12, 30.06. And if we were going to use uh, any ICE, we would put that above it. Now the last thing I'm going to do is come into legs. The route data, I want to find on top of the line, put an average winds, which is 085 at 25, 085 at 25. We should be good. Now, if we have one more look at this. Alpha, left kilo golf. Left Bravo, monitor the tower, 123.9x. Yeah, that's Alpha, pretty good. Kilo Golf, Bravo, monitor tower, 123.9x. Okay. And let's set the first office is CDU to uh, progress page, so we can keep a quick eye on the fuel. So, our CDU is now programmed. Okay, with the flight management computer program, we're going to move on down to our radios now. I've got the uh, comm radio already set up with the uh, ground and uh, tower, and we're going to put in... is already in, and we're looking at 125 on the heading. Ground Delta 2351, on to Victor Loop for... Okay, so the comrades are set, now radios are set. We're going to move on up to the EPIS panel. Fox Top for Ramp 5, to North 6 for Delta 2351. Terrain, position, data, airport, and station. You can have weather, station, airport, data, and position. I'm going to be on the master. 2532, Delta... It's going to be 141. We've got an initial heading of 125. Ground up 2481. The chart says 3000, and then we would get uh, further claims through ATC. I mean through uh, ATC. Since we're not flying online, we're going right to 370. Okay, just let me know uh, your intentions when you know. Okay, we I mean, uh, have. So, so, MCP is done, EFIS panel is done. Clock set, nose wheel steering is normal, so got it. And let's check right. our panels. Lower DUs. Auto flight it. Ground up 1916 okay. north and tango. So it's 1916 round or eight right and right on the primary flight. Eight right. Right on Fox and three over to X. Well, let's put these in. 
Unofficial horizon is level. We got 45 on the speed tape. V1 is 126. We got our initial cleared oh, altitude. Well, we're going right, right to 37,000 feet. Uh, okay, we've got the terrain on the uh, nav display. That all looks good. Standby gauges are good. I should have real gauges in here soon, and we'll be able to set the flags and whatnot. In the not too distant future, I'm hoping. Wait on my brother to give me a hand. Put those in. N1 is set to auto, speed reference is set to auto, fuel flow reset, and we're going to set the auto brake to reject the takeoff. Let's make sure we've got enough fuel, oil, and hydraulics. Hydraulics, 85. Oil quantity is fine, and we've got plenty of fuel for the flight. Now, speed brake is down, reverses. Flaps are up. Just okay. Market breaker set. They are down. Let's let that run amok. And let's set that. And the trim was 525. Delta 1379, Okay, that is set. That's good. Now. Parking brake is set, fuel levers are set to cut off, stabilize the trim, we already tested that. Fire bottles are squibs. Skywest 3027. Okay. HGS, we don't have a HUD, so we don't have to worry about that. Transponder, we're on TA, stand by. 2200, and let's run a test. Rudder and aileron trim. Okay, right, let's move that rudder. Actually, uh, can I move that over there for you to see? Now you can see me moving the rudder back and forth. And what I want to do is we're going to center that again. Stabilizer override switch is normal guarded. I'm going to do a ground proximity test after this completes. Okay, and we'll do ground proximity. So we've got our zero fuel weight, right? 116.6 uh, that we put in. We've got our N1s and reduce max. Our V speeds, right? Our V1. Ground Right, now V1, VR, V2, right, 126, 129, 141. The stabilizer trim is set at 525. And fuel pumps as required. All right, so we're going to get our APU online here, get ready to push back. Well, when I push it back, when I back out on our own power, I've got problems with the parking brake just not working correctly for some reason. I have not been able to figure it out. And I am using Zebo's latest uh, point 19. It's the one that just came out today. I've not been able to figure that out. I'll have to convince my wife that I have to buy a motorized throttle quad from Flight Deck Solutions once they're uh, explained compatible. Seven thirty-three nineteen, round eight right. Taxi via Echo. Eight right via Echo. I would just wait on the APU now. Okay. Four more on APU power, and that overheat test is complete, so we can recycle those. And we're going to give it a minute, and we're going to go on uh, APU bleed air. Now you can see we're here at that little triangle and we've got a bit of ways to go to get to uh, take off runway. Zone out of sight from tower, proceed cautiously once we come over here. See if I can get 
Juliet. Thank you, Juliet, 429. Hopefully, you should have a nice view of that. So if it's about a minute, we're going to come on. Uh, APU bleed air. And what we're going to do now is confirm that we're disconnected from the gate. So we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. We want to make sure that the doors are buttoned up. So we'll close those cargo doors, get the forward door closed. PLA message, we'll give them the welcome message. Ladies and gentlemen, for the flight deck, welcome aboard our flight today. We're wrapping up the final paperwork here to get you on your way momentarily. I want to thank you so much for your time. Number one, number one, Juliet, going to Number one, Brown, join Kilo, Texas Park. Join Kilo, Texas Park. And we are set for gate departure. That brings us to the back end of the page, so we're going to note our pushback time. Well, we're going to be pushing back ourselves. And now we're going to start these engines. Let's just get that out of the way. Alright, so our left and right packs are coming off. Watch that pressure drop, make sure we're good enough to start. Any collision light is coming on. Pressure's good. And we're going to start number two, and how about I give you the engine display. See, you can see them spool up. Going to 31. Thank you. Frontier 545, we're ready to tag. Here is Alpha. And the Frontier 545, runway 1, taxi. If I get this parking brake issue straightened out so I can use better pushback, this would be absolutely flawless. Ooh, pay attention. Grab Lucia 5608 off of November. Lucia 5608, we're on taxi to park. Taxi park, Lucia 5608. Okay, we're going to be starting number one. 19 ready to push off of uh, gate 20, 29. American 21 push back five, Basically, we're waiting for uh, push back 21%. 21 well, max motoring, whichever comes first, and then we're going to introduce fuel. Right, we're above 21, and I'm going to hold this out just in case we get a hot start, and I can just basically slap that down to cut off. Southwest 878, ground runway 3 for left, east, Golfing with Skeel. Golfing with Skeel, 354 down, I'm sorry if I missed it. Whiskey's current runway 3 for right, taxi via Foxtrot. 34 right via Foxtrot, I do have Whiskey and that is 354. Thank you. Okay, fuel cutoff levers idle to tent. Engine generators are on. AC bolt meter selector is on Gen 1, probe heat switches are on, engine wing any ice we don't need, hydraulic switches are on, bleed panel check set, auto, 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 on the packs and isolation valve, and the uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 bleeds are on, APU is off. Exterior lights as needed, well, we'll put the uh, taxi line on once we get away from the... Uh, a parking spot here. AP was needed, AP was off. Master caution recall. Flap set for takeoff. Transponder TA auto. TA and auto. Weather radar to auto. And flight controls. Let's show you the flight controls now. As you can see, the flight controls are fine. I'm going to take that back. 
to let them know we're going to back on out of here. And with that, we're ready to back on out on our own power. Yeah, we'll be ready. Right on. That's 1198, one other time, one three. Short of Echo, your company's pushing now. All right, Papa Uniform Tango, short of Echo, Southwest 771. you see is from Traffic Global. An amazing program. I really would not like to fly with that. Pushback is complete. And before taxi, we went through most of this. Taxi light is coming on, and we will let them know. And we're up to before takeoff. Hey, ground stop for 61, 67. We're engines running, ready to taxi now. Catch you on the flip side, Cancun. 18 taxi via Charlie 4 Alpha. 18 uh, via Charlie 4 Alpha, and uh, do we? They still did a flow control in there. We still need spot time or release time. I hope that all that information is working the way it's supposed to. Put a lot of time in trying to figure all that out. Charlie 4 Alpha behind the spirit. Yes, spirit, we'll follow them. Charlie 4 Alpha 36 Alpha 3367. Alpha 3230, change to the gate via Charlie. I'm hoping this is the month for X Plane 12. I'm hoping she's just about ready to go. I've got my server computer. Um, already backed up on my Ground NAS drive, so I can just take that out and just put 12 in completely. Put the Zebo mod in, put in my FDS to XP scripts, um, traffic global, and then get in the air and see what it's going to look like. Based on what I've seen from the videos and the, uh, and the, the screenshots, it's just leaps and bounds what we have now. I'm really looking forward to that weather program. No more weather updates uh, popping in and out. That to me is huge. That and the clouds. Taxi via Bravo to 36, 7890 here. Cross fairway to 3805, off Alpha 6 in here. That says X Dave. I thought it said Ikea. I thought there was an Ikea on the airport. Alpha fairway to 1305. That's funny. And that's throwing 3020 is on Alpha 4, Alpha 4. 3020 grand taxi to parking. To the parking throw 3020. Like we do have some cloud cover up there. Thirty twenty, there's an American Airbus. Uh, they'll be taxiing out uh, from where you're going. Just get one of the American Airbus. Based on what I can uh, see, I think there's only one in front of us. Like number two for departure. Starts on the left lens. That's uh, which pair was that? Center 300 Alpha 6, just pushing out. Center Roger, speed line through the runway change in progress. Uh, Windsor 1204, altimeter 3009, expect runway 18 for departure. 18 for departure. Uh, Round of By the time we get there. So, uh, alpha, ready to start. Alpha Zulu, hold short runway 18, Texas Zulu. 
Zulu, hold short 18, American 9798. So we're going to hang it right here. Break out 4706, probably 18 tech to be a Alpha Zulu, hold short, probably 18 tech for Zulu. Break out 4706, runway 18, be Alpha Zulu. Yeah, I think that aircraft's already gone. American 9798 cross, runway 18 Bravo 2, straight ahead to Bravo 3, right in front of Bravo. It's like wind number one. We'll cross 18 on Zulu, Bravo 3, Bravo to the end, American uh, 9798. So far, Zebo has been beautiful. Only issue, like I said, is parking brake. I get that figured out. This thing is golden. Bravo 1056, with the Zulu for spot, Bravo 6. Bravo 1056, the ground, uh, looks like you said taken. Make a left turn on Alpha, then right on Charlie 5, right on Charlie. Stay right on Alpha, right Charlie 5, right Charlie. 66. The 1066, first turn left there on Alpha. Left turn, sorry about that. There's a weather update right there. Delta 2341, right to taxi, west Mike. Delta 2341, right turn on Charlie 4. And uh, can you take out the 5 intersection or do you want the full length? Full length, please, right to the Charlie 4. Delta 2341, uh, Charlie 4, Zulu, hold short of 1-8. Delta 4, Zulu, short of 1-8, Delta 2341. Three wing 1699, Roger, right taxi parking in Via Alpha and just hold the the terminal ramp. Looks like a uh, company's pushed off the Alpha 5. Alright, uh, Alpha and hold the beam the terminal ramp. Spirit wing 1699. 2978, right taxi with Alpha. Three wing 2978, runway 1A taxi is Via Alpha. Runway Via Alpha, Spirit 2978. Three wing 1699, give way to company joining Alpha. Taxi to parking to Alpha. To the gate, three wing 1699. Run now, Lambert 4459, request and push, Bravo 5. 4459, push your description, pass your taxi. Push your discretion, clear path for taxi, number 4459. Ground Delta 2557, clear to Alpha 3, going Bravo 1. Delta 2557 ground, taxi to the ramp via Alpha. Taxi to the ramp via Alpha, Delta 2557. Alright, landing lights, runway turn off, taxis. Engines are continuous, strobe and steady, let One them know. Auto throttle, TARA. Ground Allegiance uh, 726, taxi with golf. Okay, and it's notified exterior lights is needed. And just not select this to continuous. Auto throttle is on. Transponder to TARA and auto. And. Demont 6112, call throwing 279 on Echo. Join Sierra Tower 8135.1 on the other side. 40%, and we're out of here. And we're looking for that truck. How about we go to Tower 2? Okay. Hopefully that frequency is working. It was your 5146 oh, heading 265, contact departure. Order departure, good day, it was 5146. Approaching, 1, 2, left. Good 4560, 27 left, 5 white. 3560 left, 27 left. On runway, one, two, left. Parker, 3560, runway 27 left, sliding 265, quick takeoff. Stabilize. 265, quick takeoff, 27 left, prepared, 3560. Thrust set. Airspeed is active. Parker, 4706, heading 285, check, check button, top 245, switch to first guard, 47. One, 
D1. Rotate. See if it can handle this. Nice, Ebo's keeping it at 200, right? Just like it should. Trigger 4864 on a 27 month, bottom point. My boy, Brick, or one of my 27 month, Brick, or Now, when you think about everything that's going on here between the hardware and the software and networking, it is absolutely amazing to me that all of this comes together and works as well as it does. It's just, it's kudos to the guys that built the hardware, made the software, and uh, put it all together. It's just it's stunning. Okay, let's see if we're going to follow this turn. A little wide on the map, but... Wow, look at the clouds. Man, that looks real good. That view is better. Heading 245, clear for takeoff, only 27 left, clear care, 4864. 5 to 32, runway 27 left, line up away. 27 left, line up away, left to 32. 5 to 32, runway 27 left, line up away, left to 32. Man, that view is just something else. Wow. You can see the ground peeking through the clouds. Alright, we're at 10,000 feet. Can you ready to go? Lights are off, engine starts. This wing is off. Pressurization panel's looking good. We're at 370. And what do we have here? We have to take off. Flaps. Auto pilots engaged. Attendance away. Notified. Cap pressurization tanks back on to. So far, anyway. Engine blazer on. Pack switches auto. APU is off. Exterior lights is needed. And set. Engine start selectors as needed, they are off. Auto brake is off. Main gear is up and off. Next up, There's a bit of a freaking turn going on there. Brickyard 4778, you pass behind a 145 on the cross of runway. Wind 2804, runway 27, right to the line. I have to come back here and do it again myself and fly it by hand and see what I can do. So we are 89 miles to Topic Line, 263 miles to Cuba. And we're over the water now, so I'll take the weather. You can have it. It's 
getting us back on track. I must have seen down there, even if we didn't have this cloud cover. Southwest 40 Southwest the so, at Port Dougie, Dougie, we should have 10.5 on the fuel, and right now, we're at 10.6, so, fuel's looking good. Pressurization panel, it's climbing nicely. So that basically puts us at the end of the uh, departure. Cancun. So let's go to. Uh, these are our low and round charts here. American 1529, right kilo, short Quebec. Right kilo, short Quebec, American 1529. Thank you. Thank you. That puts us at uh, standard pressure. That's one thing I didn't notice. There you go. Now it just changed. I was going to say it, that should have changed. It did. American 1529. Did you get any wind trail final today? Negative for American 1529. And we're at 0B1. Pretty smooth out here, so we're going to let the kitties run around. Bit of a headwind. So far it's been a nice ride. The initial turnout on our departure was uh, not by the craft maps, but I'm going to come back here and try this again. I'm going to come out by hand. But basically she she corrected nicely. And we are right back, uh, we're right on the money as you can see from the charts here. As you can see here, 
Let's see if I can zoom that in. Can I zoom that in so you can read it? Well, that's 27,000. Another 10,000 to go. American 1496, back to your final, please. So far, nothing unexpected, really, for the most part. American 1287, right turn on the I T, right Kilo, November, contact ramp, so you have to go All right, Kilo, November, ramp, plus 10 to 400, American 1287. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. They come out of nowhere sometimes. And then my voice starts to go. FEMA 6139, wind 280 at 3, runway 35. You're going to pass by an Airbus 321. Right, 351. Probably about 130 miles off of the approach chart into uh, Cuba. Blue Street 5084 right turn, right Kilo Kilo 3. Did you see any birds? Kilo Kilo 3, we get that bird around. That's what we got. Yes. Blue Street 5084. We won't get picked up until Cal. Hold around 30 seconds today, Blue Street 5084. Copy, Lost 6132. Copy, Lost 6132. Again, at 10 knots, around 400 feet. First along the final, wind 270 at 4, runway 270 right here. Good morning. Good morning, Blue Street 5084. And our fuel, 9.4, and if we take a look at our fuel, you'll see it's 9.4. As we can see here, we should have 9.4 at Luna. And we're going to 5.9. Right here, 5780 Tower, good afternoon. Use caution, bird activity along the final. We gain a 10 knots for around 400 feet. The wind 2900 at 5, runway 27 right to the land. Beautiful ride, Zebo. Beautiful ride. The weather, though, leaves a bit to be desired. Thank you. Hey, nothing but a white film down there. Well, the clouds above us too. I'm hoping all of this is coming together the way I wanted it to. We'll see soon enough. Looks like we're right in the cloud uh, land. Top 
climb and 12 miles. American 8637, Like we may pay, we might be playing a little peekaboo with these clouds. And you can see top of the sand just popped up in the 80, uh, 80 mile mark. Three miles, sixty one, thirty two, straight ahead, spot nine or contact one. Yep. Straight ahead, spot nine, contact ground, contact one. Yep, where's the ramp? Thirty fifty seven. Ramp, you're on the ground. Seven nine six, Julius, you're gonna pass by to one seventy five, one out, cross the runway, runway three five, just to the land, runway three five zero seven. That's gonna go. Cool land, runway three five. Still fighting a little bit of a headwind. Although it is, it is starting to look a little blue down there, though. Maybe we're moving into clearer weather. So let's go and have a look. This is what, MUHA. And that puts us at cruise. 183. The final and, and uh, 1016. That hasn't changed. Okay. So we've got 65 miles to top of descent, 177 miles to, uh, well, here you can see for yourself actually. 64 miles to top of descent. 176 miles to Cuba. Clouds look rather nice. going to be much to see. I'll catch you on the back end. Okay, we're 20 miles to top of descent. Let's put the kitties back in their seats, shall we?
Frontier 2426, Center Roger, what's your normal speed? And we're out. We should be coming up well, on the approach soon, and, uh, so let's have a look. Ready for 38, NXT 280 or not. Don't expect to turn any knots, American 438. Jump to 89 and final. Typically 189 here. Typically looking real nice. Looks like we have an aircraft way out there in the distance. Got another one 2,000 feet below us. Front about 20 some odd miles. Hopefully we're going to drop right below him. For some reason the auto throttle is not showing on there, I'm not sure why. But it is armed, and it's armed in the 3D panel. Here we go. Here we come, Cuba. Ready or not? Oh, the mountains look real nice. Peeking through the clouds like that? Yeah. Off to the left here. United Twenty One Seventy Two in the transition. Maintain is three zero zero knots or greater. Three hundred or greater. United Twenty One Seventy Two. One Twenty Six Fifteen. You called. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm with you that the altitude restriction in Georgia canceled. Should be about forty or fifty miles. We should be popping up on this chart yeah, right over here by Canada. We just want to make sure that it's okay with you as well. No, uh, it's every every section. I'm like, hi. Look. Box 1142, uh, disregard the public speed, cross 60 to maintain 1,000, send me a go to 300, 300, 0, 0, 0. Disregard the public speed, 60, 1,000, last to left, please. Oh, yeah, look at that, overcast just kicked in. 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 Regular disregard the public speed. Disregard, disregard. 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 This is Armour 026, level 1, 1000, direct stacks. If information that notice is an imperial with plan official. It'd be nice if we play peek peekaboo like this six, all the way down. Roger, you're saying you have the weather and the notes?
outside of the battery. Okay. Should be showing up soon. Not much to see out there, though. Can only imagine what these clouds are going to look like in X Plane 12. <laughs> Bring it on, Austin. Bring it on. I'm going to take back to rain, and you can have the weather. So let's see on the way down. The lead air panel is set to auto. Pressurization panel land altitude is in. Passenger signs are on. Auto brake selector. Flight instruments and radios. And that radios are set. Decision height is set. set. Local Q&H is in recall. And BRAF means BRAF and minimums are in. Right now we're up to 10,000 feet for exterior lights. Engine start selectors and the EFIS panel set terrain. We're already on terrain. So we're looking at lights and engine start selectors at 10,000. No, we're on our descent in case they haven't figured it out yet. I'm surprised we're not on that map yet. And this has been an amazing ride, Tebo. Amazing ride. Otherwise, 1-8, cross 50, I'm sorry, cross 50, and they maintain 1-2,000. Roger, crossing 50 and maintaining at altitude 12,000. Okay, 2-6, we're located in 0-7-0 for your descent. Here we go, 72 miles. 0-7-0 for the descent. To Cuba. I keep seeing on the Zebo mod. Let me show you real quick while we're waiting. I have this open down on another monitor, down right below this one where you can't see it. And this flash is on the bottom and it keeps catching my eye every time it changes. So, that's why I keep looking down. That should be 6 one descending via the Ola one level off flight level 240. So we're good to 4,000 to HA407, which is 24.9 nautical miles to the threshold of the runway 6, which puts us right at this band. I'm surprised we're not on that track yet. That was blocked by her twenty three seventeen. This is set up, is it not? Let's see. We got ten miles to count though. So, count though. We should have eight on the fuel right now. We're at eight point one. As you can see here, Cano, 8, and right now we have 8.1, looking good. And the pressurization panel on the way down is looking good. I am at the end of the 
Archer. Right there. Oh, there we are. I just popped in right there. Frontier 2127, do you call? Uh, no, but we are now. Frontier 2127 at 240. Frontier 2127, center clear at 60. Direct 60. Frontier uh, 2127. And we should be on local pressure by now. 770, can I call coach on 128.1? 28, 1, Delta 7, 7. No, maybe not. I'm used to flying in the States. So, that may not be right. Probably isn't right. Frontier 2127, <laughs> 3 0 It's been an amazing ride. Wow, look at the haze out there. You can see some of the uh, land peeking in. Oh, beautiful. You can only imagine what that's going to look like sitting in here with X Plane 12 with all the improvements. Oh, man, I don't think my wife is going to see me for. For a while. <laughs> Tell everybody, Nave, just knock on the garage door. That's where I'll be. I come in the side door. Let's see if we're going to need some speed brake here. Oh, look at the mountains peeking over. Oh, we just got blocked out. There's mountains right below these clouds. <laughs> November 850 Pop Charlie 5 and the weather and notum for Imperial. You can expect a visual approach. Don't look like yeah, we need speed brake. Tried to get it, can't get it quite yet, so all the time. Beautifully done. Very nice, Zebo. Very nice. And to maintain 1,000. San Diego altimeter 3000. Impressive. 1,000. Alaska 250 out of uh, 339 descending uh, via the Aurora arrival, at 1240. As you can see, we're just getting the 250 knots, we're just hitting uh, 10,000 feet. Very nice, Alright, so let's light them up. Engine start select is... let them know. Omni 302, descend and maintain 14,000, and the March altimeter 2995. At 14,000, 2995, Omni 302. Bit bumpy here. You got an so aircraft. Imperial, uh, 9 o'clock. Imperial County Airport. Imperial DOR, Reserve Pop Charlie. Right. Omni 302, clear direct KU. And Alright, present position, direct to, uh, taking the point. Direct to KU. KU for Omni 302. I don't think I can zoom in anymore where it'll hold. Center Delta 1792 out of 293 for Mo Momar 40. Delta 1792, center after Momar, clear direct Trixie. After Momar, direct Trixie, Delta 1792. And we haven't needed any speed brake. Center Frontier 2127, 1 to San Diego. 
Uh, who's that? Who's asking? Uh, Frontier 2127. Better flight 2127, contact approach 124.35 for lower. Okay, thank you. 2435, Frontier uh, 2127. As you can see on the chart, we need to be above 4,000. Right now, we're, at, uh, we're coming up on uh, 7,100. So we're looking good. And we should be down to 2,000 feet by the time we get to Wilson. Speed's creeping up just a little bit. Delta 1025, contact approach on 124.35. 435, Delta 1025. Omni 302, contact approach on 134.0. 1340, 302, we'll see. Nice view. Very nice view. Delta 1792, descend to maintain one uh, 6,000, and the San Diego officer 3000. Descend to maintain one 6,000, Center Delta 2766, uh, yeah, 295, setting 340, uh, Delta 2766, Center, Descent Via, the Lucky 1, Descent Via, 1,000, San Diego Altimeter, 3000. Alright, Descent Via, the Lucky 1, 17, uh, 1, 2000, and confirm there is nothing else in there, Delta 2766. Nope, just 12,000, Descent Via, the San Diego Altimeter, 3000. Alright, Descent Via, 12,000, Delta 2766. Nice. Set up zero, Papa Charlie, Descent and maintain 9,000. In, in the mix. Okay, 2975, we're down to 900,000 cruiser pump truck. Alaska 250, traffic 12 o'clock and 13 miles between Oceanside and Sydney's Jumper aircraft at 13,000. Descent via except maintain 14,000. Yeah, descending via except maintain 14,000. We'll be looking for the aircraft velocity. Local pressure. 260, we're going to grab a 16,000. Oh, we're breaking through now. November 268, Romeo Bravo. Center, descend to maintain 15,000. We've got the airport. No, no, I've no, got no, the runway. 15,000. Is it runway there? Is it runway there? I believe it's that one. Contact Valley 7684, contact approach 124.35. Approach, contact Valley 7684, 124.35. Let's get that speed down. Alaska 250, contact from approach on 128.1. 21 left, 250. Delta 1792, descend and maintain 14,000. Descend and maintain 14,000, Delta 1792. 1,000 to go. United 2,500. 128.6. November 8, Romeo Bravo, descend and maintain 12,000. Palomar altimeter, 2997. 2997, 12,000. Let's go, flaps 1. November 0, Papa Charlie, descend and maintain 8,000. Not 8,000, you're Papa Charlie. November 8, Romeo Bravo, contact will approach on 125.3. 25.3 for 268, Romeo Bravo. We've got the localizer. Let's go flaps 5. Z-Ball, this has been absolutely beautiful. Did I get my brake problem fixed? Did I get that little auto throttle to show up on the uh, display there? <laughs> It'd be flawless.
Okay, how about we Center bring up... Charlie, I'd like to cancel I have our main flight following. Let's go flaps 10. Delta 1792, contact approach on 124.35. 124.35, Delta 1792. It's like there's somebody above us. I got him. Gulfstream 886 Whiskey Tango at 166. Just give us a thousand feet, pal. 886 Whiskey Tango at 100, descent of pops, discretion, maintain 14,000, and the power mile altimeter 2997. Down to one four thousand discretion, uh, two nine nine seven for eighty six. Delta is twenty seven sixty six. Contact looking real nine 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 and one two thousand six. And approach. Southwest fifteen seventy five at a fifteen two kilometer. Southwest fifteen seventy five. Center ready. Airline is nine eight zero. Contact center on the one two eight point. Good six. Get down. Nine eight zero. We're in the slope. Right here two six. Contact approach one two four point three five. Twenty four thirty five. Twenty six. Fifteen. Twenty four thirty five. Southwest 2094, route at 289. This is the lucky one, except maintain 240. Beautiful ride, Zeebo, beautiful ride. Southwest 2094, center, clear track, Jack, and descent of pops, discretion, maintain, level 200. Track, Jack, pops, discretion, 200, Southwest 2094. And that should be 143, and flaps 30. Southwest 1575, contact center on 1, 2, 3, 1, 5, 7, 7. My bird. Nice ride, Zebo. Nice ride. Center American 2778, jump on other 2675. American uh, 2778, hundred seventy electric one, except maintain 1,000, San Diego, Washington, 300. Approaching 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
Really nice one. Set main and in the transition, do not exceed 250 knots. Polaris 9 Thank you. The all are 1, Lower sign 22 to verify in the transition, do not exceed 250 knots. So 250 knots at that point throughout. Okay, do not exceed 250 in the transition, Polaris 9 to Center, Southwest 147, 16 5, level 230, 250 on the speed of sign. Southwest 147, Center, resume normal speed and clear direct Nishi. Normal speed and direct Nishi. Southwest 147. Southwest 147, contact center 126.77. 2677, good day, Southwest 147. Is there room for us at the end? Southwest 346, contact center 126.77. Alright, 2677, Southwest 346. American 480, you may increase speed now, do not exceed 280 knots. So fast for this 280 knots, American 480. Southwest 2094, contact approach 124.35. 124, 25. 124.35, Southwest 2094. American 756 Center. American 756 uh, out of 190, 2677, American 19, American 756. Chocks are in position. Center, Mahalo 806, has the weather, no confirmed here. Mahalo 806, thank you, Imperial Officer. Ground power. And ground air is available. And you're going to stand by, and you're going to test. And you're coming off. And you're coming off. Taxi to gate uh, as needed, APU, yep, your damper's off, window heat as needed, they're off, probe heat switches are off, engine wing and the ice is off, engine start selectors are off, auto brake is off, speed brake is down. Flaps are up, transponder, RTA auto for the way in, weather radar to test, parking brake is on, transponder to standby, that's it, standby, and shut down, electrical power, APO ground, we're on ground, we're on, uncondition air, fuel levers to cut off, any collision light is off, passenger signs are off, fuel pump switches are off, electrical panel, and galley power is off. Window heat switches are off. Hydraulic pumps are Polar off. Exterior lights is needed. And we've got position lights Polar on. That's it. Flight directors are off. Chocks are in position. Brakes are off. That is it. Let's shut down completely. IRS select is to off. Emergency exit light. Southwest 495, amend altitude, cross jack, and maintain 11,000. Lights are off. Amend altitude, cross jack, 11,000. APU uh, bleed is set. Engine start select is to both. APU or ground power disconnect. American 2758, contact approach 124.35. DCAC select is to stand by. And battery switch to off. I hope you enjoyed today's flight. I had a blast. Um, except for that little aircraft coming in. Uh, my parking brake issue. And that little light. Beautiful flight, Zebo. Outstanding. And I'll catch you on the next run.